to 30 days of foundation where I review every single day one foundation just for you. Today's foundation is from La Prairie and that's the Skin Caviar Concealing Foundation in SPF 15 and the shade I'll be talking about is Ivoire or Ivory and the odd thing about this foundation is that it's a two-in-one and actually no, not in the same formula, but it's basically you get concealer and a foundation, they're both shade matched, so you should get same color for using both. And basically the foundation is in a in the jar, and then on the lid or the cap, you have like when you open it, you get like the concealer and then you have a mirror, and on the side um, or the entire bottle stands on a mini stand and has a brush. I'm sorry that I have to be descriptive. I don't have that foundation. I just got a sample, or actually I got it a while ago, because I, I was really interested in trying it, because I heard a lot about La Prairie, blah blah blah, and I happen to have a bronzer from La Prairie, and I really liked it. So, point is, I want to try it and I want it to include it in my 30 days of foundation series because it's just a sample and samples can go bad once you open them so I just wanted to do it for the camera. Point is, I'm wearing it today, sorry about that, about my bra, and well, I'm having a bit of bronzer, well, it might be too much for some, but the thing is that the foundation is too dark for me so I didn't want to have Oompa Loompa yellow face so I added a little bit of bronzer to sort of counteract it and make it like I'm on I'm doing it on purpose to have such dark face <laughs> but yeah as you can see it's pretty darn dark for my skin tone and yeah now my neck uh, my face is practically this shade so mm. I'm not that sure about this. The the formula is pretty good, but yeah, anyways. Enough of entertainment. Let me give you more details. This foundation has a pretty decent coverage. I wouldn't call it a full coverage. That's why it comes with a concealer. So I would say it's a medium coverage. It's very luminous. It's obvious that you have foundation. It's that type of foundation. It's not the um, naked skin kind of foundation. If you like to have, if you like to appear like your skin sort of has something, not in a bad way, but in a good way, which I sometimes like if I'm going out or something. I don't want to have the naked skin effect because sometimes in harsh lights it can't it can look bad. So, anyways, I'm not sure if I'm making much sense now. Am I? Mm, sorry. Well, I'm gonna post pictures on my blog anyway so you can see what I mean by foundation face. It might be that it's because of the shade, of course, the shade contributes to it, but, well, basically foundation is has sort of a radiant look. It's very moisturizing, it's nourishing, and it's sort of energizing. At least those are the three attributes that uh, La Prairie gives on their website for the foundation. And energizing, I can really see why. My skin right away looked like, like uh, if I had a mini facial done, if that makes sense. And uh, yeah, so basically those three attributes, nourishing, moisturizing, and energizing, they're saying that it comes from the caviar extract. Whether it's true or not, I have no idea. I'm just saying what the website says. And the size of the foundation is 30 mil or one fluid ounce. And the retail price in the US in one, it's 195 US dollars. So yes, I would totally recommend you go and try it before you decide and pay 195 because for 195 I have I, I can mention to you 10,000 other foundations that you can get for a fraction of a price that would do this job or much better now I'm not sure if it if it's sort of a treatment like like if you're supposed to see any difference over a long run 
I don't really believe that you can see much difference with a foundation in the long run. I don't know. It might be that if you're stacking it with their serum or moisturizer or whatever, you can see a difference. But uh, for that price, I think you're also paying a lot the luxury and the brand, which is of course uh, on the top of high-end brands. But for example, you can get for a fraction of a price, or is it half a price, the La Mer Foundation, which I think they're in the same category, but I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure about this foundation. Um, I mean, with that price. Well, that price, if, if I would be giving it for free, I'd be, yeah, they're cool. Except that the shade is off for me. Totally off. I mean, I can tolerate a bit off, but this is just too dark for me. Anyways, let's get this thing started. I'm gonna stop blabbing now and I'm gonna show you half face with the foundation and then full face with the foundation and then around 68 hours later I'm gonna show you a clip of how the foundation has resisted and again if you're very sensitive to seeing pores or discoloration or uneven skin tone or whatever then just don't look this video but basically you're gonna see my skin in raw anyways thank you for watching bye here I'm applying it straight with my hands after testing it with a beauty blender and failing miserably. Um, I don't know why it translates to sort of light in the camera, but uh, it will darken considerably in the next moments. And But yeah, it's, well, at least for my skin tone, pretty yellow. Um, what else? Oh, I'm sorry if you see something odd in my lips. I have just drank a green smoothie and apparently I didn't realize I had some kind of residue left in there. So I really apologize. And again, if you're grossed out, grossed out by extreme close-ups and HD camera and seeing things that you normally wouldn't see on YouTube, like not many really bare their skins, this raw, then you should really turn off the, uh, or sorry, stop watching <laughs> because, well, that's what the review is about. I just want to really show in real life what the foundation looks like. So yeah, you can pretty much tell how awful it is, or not awful, but awfully dark. At least for me it's extremely dark and oh and sorry for my sore lip um, in case you didn't know I get eczema pretty often and my lips happen to be one of them so yeah anyways uh, I'm gonna come back about eight hours later bye so sorry I didn't come Eight hours later I actually didn't film eight hours later but you can read my blog post review if you want to know how it performed I really apologize but I don't know what happened to my camera I didn't want to work anyways this is so apparently I found out a bit too late that I did indeed have the eight hour later update my camera just didn't want to show it Anyways, um, as you can see, well, it has creased, which um, it's not unusual, for me at least. Um, I would say it has held up semi-decently. Um, but yeah, anyways, you can see for yourself how it is. And sorry for my lips, I'm still having the bad eczema in there. Anyways, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe again. Bye-bye!